All right, just arrived in Villa Alda and trying to pick up the uh, bib. It's all rather confusing. The parking was horrific. Still, we're here now, see if we can get a uh, bib with my limited French. Okay, it looks pretty organized here. Just to pick up my bib. Yeah, all very nice here. Okay, I've just left my two drop bags here to be taken to kilometer, what is that, 100, 120 or something, or 90, 120. This is about to pour with rain as well. Let's see if I can get under cover. So here we are in San Larry, the evening before the race, before the famous statue of the bear that I like to see every time I come to this village. We just had a tremendous rainstorm. Hope that means it's not gonna rain tomorrow. Um, great, feeling nervous as always before a race, but you know, not too bad, I have to say this time. I'm just gonna take it calmly and I'm fairly confident, I've done this race several times before, that I'm fairly confident I can do it again. We'll see, won't we? <laughs> Here we are, 15 minutes before the start. Let's see what the weather's like. It's been raining very slightly. Hope it's going to be okay. All the people here, all the nerves. Let's get this thing started. Here we go, five, nearly six kilometers in, walking up an asphalt road, nice gradient, starting to rain slightly. Hope it doesn't get any worse. Okay, we're at kilometer seven and a half now, just coming into an area with lots of houses, ski lodges I think they are. We get to one of the levels of the ski resort up here. A long, humid climb in the dark. Kilometer 8.25, the first supporters out on the course on this very humid, dark morning. Good to see people out though. It's going all right at the moment. Nice and calm. Take it very, very easy. Right, let's push on. Okay, nearly two hours in and just every 10k in, and there's a short downhill section. Now another little uphill. I think we've got another downhill before we make up our way up to Col de Porte. It's a huge climb, eh? We've done at least a thousand meters just straight up. Right, two and a bit hours in. We've got a nice little run down here before we start the final climb up to the Col. Just getting my running legs going now. Rather nice, this bit. It's still a big steep climb to come though. The final push of the Col de Vorté. It's uh, quite a long way still, and I remember it's quite steep at the end as well. Okay, we've just arrived at Col du Tente. We've climbed two hours. 44 minutes, climbed nearly 1,500 meters. Really steep, hard climb. Now we've just got the descent to the aid station, about a kilometer down, get something to eat and drink. That's a really tough climb, probably the longest in the whole race. And now I'm running the rather nice descent down to Merlin aid station which we get on the way back as well there it is down there not sure what the cutoff here is we've been going 15k so i'll be interested to see right first aid station 2 hours 54 15 and a half k all systems go get something to eat get something to drink and get out of here pretty quick
lovely section along here. I'm running the little downhills and walking the uphills, but at least the, it's you know a lovely path. Fortunately, it's not too hot either, which is probably a good thing. Right, we're just getting past the refuge here. I think it might be Bastene Refuge. Not sure of that. Rather nice position, isn't it? Out here. And another lake. Uh, a kilometer, 20 and a half, four hours. It's wild country out here. Look all the blocks everywhere. The path's pretty good. Sometimes you have to be careful as you crumble over the, the rocks. I think they're granite rocks. Got to go out there. I think that's the Col de Bastinet. And from there, I hope we've got a bit of a descent. Merci. Yes. Bon courage. Merci beaucoup. Right here we are at the shoulder, Col du Bastine, and great little descent down here. I think tough though. That's hard. Just be a little bit careful. Some of the rocks were a bit slippery. Just take it easy now down here. We've just come down through a rather technical rocky, rocky section, which the rocks are rather wet and it's muddy, so you've got to be careful not to slip. Some people go down rather fast, but there is a risk. Spectacular mountain views all around. You can see it's quite complicated, the terrain here. And we come upon a refuge here. Uh, it's not the most attractive building, is it? Lovely up there. Well, I don't think I'm going to stop here, no need. Let's just keep on. You can see the technical terrain here. Rocks everywhere. It's not easy, for me anyway. It's slow going. Great views there. Rocks and roots are making this a particularly difficult section, but as you can probably see, the views are fantastic around here. Lakes everywhere, granite everywhere. It's very nice, but it is a bit hard going for me. I'm up again. I remember this actually, but I'm not sure how far to go there is. Don't really appreciate this though. This climb, this climb just keeps going up. Look, more and more and more. Keep thinking at the top. You've got another bit to go. And this climb goes on and on and on. You keep thinking it's to the top. This is about the fifth, fourth or fifth time I thought I got to the top. Still got another section. Maybe that's the top. Maybe. And finally, we reached the car. Whoa. Hello. Very hard climb, eh? Very long. Very nasty section here, really slippery, actually quite, quite risky. Was it wet because of the rain from the other day and, and the fog? It's quite nasty, eh? Really slippery. Not good. Okay, we're 100 meters away from the A station now. This final bit of the descent is okay, but that top bit with the slippery grass, the slippery mud, I fell over once, could have been more. Whew. In fine weather, great, but in wet weather, not great at all. Here we are, down there we go. And here we go, down to the A station. People waiting here for the runners. It's taken me a bit longer than I thought. Don't mind. Looks like a llama to me. 
Para a alpaca ou something? Para nós é novidade. Eu estou arrivando aqui na Col de du Saint Secours, halfway up the mountain here. That's a lot harder than I remember that climb. Really hard, tough. We've got one hour of the cutoff only, so I've got to get a move on later. This is really hard. Hey. Right, now we've got the 500 meter climb up to the top of the peak. I've got to see these guys running down. And you wish you were them running down. So about an hour ahead of us at the moment. <sighs> nice views there down there, look. Well, I suppose we've got to do it. Not too far to go now, up to the peak, but it's hard work, I tell you. Hope I can run down all right. Okay, we just got up to the observatory at the top here now. And bloody hell, that was hard. Oh, turn around and go down, I suppose. Merci beaucoup. So now we're running down and meeting the people coming up. These are the real back of the packers now. They're going to have to really go fast to make the cutoff, I think. I think we'll have about an hour of the cutoff, 50 minutes, whatever, but the people coming out now are really pushing it. Oh. At kilometer 42 and a half, just left the aid station. Had reason for that, a big bowl of soup, banana, got some water, and now I'm just gonna walk for the next two or three minutes, settle it down, and I start jogging. Okay, a few kilometers into the long section to Autogam. I find this quite hard, especially when it's hot. At the moment it's fine. It's a long section, about 20k. Hard. Another steep, really steep climb. I'm feeling pretty weak at the moment. I will get my energy back. Otherwise, there'll be problems. Very difficult section here. Well, it shouldn't be difficult, but it is for me. Because I'm feeling not so well. I don't know. Bonjour. Ah, c'est bon. Out of cam? Oui. On bas? I haven't recorded anything recently because I've been going through a very, very tough patch. I'm very worried now about the cutoffs. Fortunately, I've built up a bit of a buffer, but I think I'm going to eat into it in this stage. It's always a hard stage and it's stomach problems, awful, feeling cold, not good at all. Eh? See if I can get a bit more speed up, I just, I don't know, we shall see. Lovely views though, although it is damp. Okay, I'm desperately running along towards Altagam, trying to make the cutoff. I reckon I might just make it. How much time that'll give me to eat and drink and get ready for the next stage of that? No, this is getting tough, eh? It's getting real. I think we've just got to get to that col, and then it's about five minutes down from there. But I've been going so, so hard this last section. Hope it's worth it. Right, we've got there. L uh, long. Yeah. Last. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some food, eh? Yeah. What's my food? Oh, Merci. 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 Another cup of soup here in the aid station. Absolutely shattered. I've got to get my. Uh, I'll be stitched just here for five minutes more, then I'll get off down to the big life base down the road.
now we've got to go down there leaving the aid station pretty good actually make our way down see if we can do it in under two hours that'd be great gives a bit of lee room then a road section here running down the road which they climb up in the tour de france quite exciting and there's what we've got to go down the valley we'll leave the road before too long i'm going to the forest this is the live base here in Pierrefitte. I didn't record anything really on the way down because I was so busy trying to get here. As it is, I'm just leaving 10 minutes before it closes. So we're cutting it really tight now. Nice life base though, really nice. Now, uh, I've been walking along this bike path for the last hour between um, wherever it was, uh, Pia Feet and Calturets. I'm falling asleep as I'm walking though. I'm never, I never fall asleep in the first um, night of a two night race, but it's just weird. I just me absolutely out of, out of form. Whew, hard work. Let's have and get some rest in Calturets. Right, we're just getting into Calturets aid station. I didn't film any of the last few k it was a ludicrous loop up in the hills behind Caldera just up and down up and down we did hundreds of extra meters it's just too much anyway let's go have something to eat now and rest the aid station in Caldera it's even got some beds over there which I have taken advantage of I've just summited the uh, the Col de Rieu, um, <clears throat> nearly 2,000 meters high. <clears throat> it's a bit foggy now. That's a hard climb because we're me and just about everyone was sort of falling asleep as we were going up. I had to stop every so often. In the end, I just pushed on and got it done. <clears throat> right, let's get down and see if we can find the A station. A couple of hundred meters down here. Uh, vertical loss. This is the A station called Bedere. Very nice here. And now we've got the extra climbs they've put in. 600 meters up and 600 meters down or something. Oh, oh well, let's get it, get it done. Well, this has been an absurdly steep section. It's just went straight up the edge of the mountain. I mean, straight up. It was really steep. I don't know why on earth they did that. And now it looks as though they've just decided to send us straight up a steep black ski run. So this is what it looks like to me. Crazy. Over there in the background is the Midi de Bigor, the mountain we were up yesterday. And we're almost at the top of this ski area. This is ridiculous though, really steep. Lovely day though. Nice view back over the mountains. I suppose there's one thing going for it. Yeah, it's a tour of a ski resort. It's not really what they should be doing, I wouldn't have thought. Now I think we've got a descent now of <clears throat> about 1600 meters down to the village, <clears throat> which is pretty severe. Lovely views, indeed. And the trouble is such a huge descent. So it's not very comfortable ski tracks. No. The aid station, nothing to eat, nothing to drink. Just have to sit down and recover. Welcome. Thank you very much. There are some crepes. Uh, uh, jump every so this is the aid station, very good service here. Perhaps the best aid station. <laughs> All right then, see you, thank you very much. See you, it's a pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I've got to get my French better again. But great people there, right? Really enjoyed that. And starts by going down the road and cutting switchbacks, cutting across the road, going on the grass sometimes. 
full of cyclists this place. It's a really popular place for people to come cycling. Great road for it. I really like this section of the course. It uh, winds its way down through the woods and then goes into some beautiful villages which we'll see later. It's a really really nice part. And we enter the village of Grus. Something like that, it's pronounced I think. Look at the views it has. It's wonderful, isn't it? Really nice. Take a lot of care of this village, don't they? Flowers everywhere. Very nice indeed. I'm quite impressed with this. On the way down, I'm trying to find out its name. And here's the view down to Luce Saint Sauveur. And where we've got to go now, I think it's not the first village, I think it's the village at the back that we've got to go to over there. If I'm not very much mistaken. Anyway, let's. Oh, it's over there. We'll run past the place. The suspension bridge wobbles a bit. Very nice indeed. What views. It's quite a long time from when you get into the village to until you actually get to the aid station. Still, we're nearly there now. I imagine that's what all the music is. <laughs> I'm not sure though. We're coming into the aid station of Luce Sassovia. Great. Get changed, get ready, get a move on. Here we are in the aid station in uh, Lusa Savoir. Really nice, good. They're just starting to break it down a little bit. Um, great, really good. I stopped here a rather long time, but I think it's nice to get everything changed and cleaned. So let's get on. Here we have. Rather steep climb for a change out of out of Lusa Saint Sauveur. Um, very nice in the shade, fortunately. It's quite steep again. Lovely path though. Just going on and on up, up and up and up, really steeply all the time. Well, the path we were going on comes out into this little beech forest. Very nice, isn't it? Nice joggable track along here on the way to Turnabob. I think we've still got quite a long way to go. It's nice. path comes along this side of the valley and crosses over and goes along the other side of the valley. It really is gorgeous along here. Don't know whether to run or walk fast. Eternal decision at this stage of our race. really warmed up now and we've got a section on the road track sort of thing slightly up and down but it's just difficult to get any rhythm going I need to put somewhere to put something on my blisters as well I'm jogging down the road now jogging being a very optimistic word to describe my movement uh, I think the Turnabop aid station is just down there in that valley to the right we'll find out in a few moments Okay, here's the Tunabal area, full of cars, loads of people on bicycles to, to go up Tourmalet Pass, uh, paragliding, yeah, loads of stuff going on. Um, in Tunabu, nice aid station, loads of people because we meet all the people from the um, 80 kilometer race as well. And we yeah, yeah. This is um, Yasin, an osteopath, who's just, <laughs> who's just really helped me now. I, I feel really good. We'll see at the end of the race, but I feel much, much better. I just want to thank you for that. Thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you. Tremendous atmosphere here. Amazing. 
loads of people of course now I'm just going off and uh, get this race done I feel so much better now I cannot believe it <laughs> now we're all walking up the valley um, loads of people now because we've been joined by the 80k runners going pretty well now hope it continues and here Look what we've seen. In the, middle of the race a lady carrying a bear on her back that's fantastic <laughs> thank you very much here we are in the granite rock fields again up towards the Be a little bit careful on these rocks, jumping them, moving from rock to rock, especially when you're a bit tired, like I am, and your reflexes aren't quite as good as they should be. We're almost arriving at the refuge now, the little refuge, it's a, the aid station. It seems to be they're building a new one over there. It's a bit disheartening being overtaken by dozens and dozens and dozens of people from the the 80k race it's a bit of a weird sensation I mean I'm going slowly but you know everyone ever takes me here is the aid station this is a popular camping spot as you can see wonderful place we just passed through the Oket near Felicitations. Merci. 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 Okay, there's a sense being going all right. I still feel everyone's going much faster than me. My feet hurt, but gosh, I've got to try and learn the technique of other people. Just so many rocks everywhere. Rocks everywhere. Can't see it, but there are. This descent here is taking ages and ages and ages. I, I, I remember in the past it's just gone on and on and on. And you just don't see where it's going. It's just down, down, down over rocks. Right, I've been 41 hours without sleep so far. The hallucinations are coming up. I keep seeing strange statues and animals and buildings I'm just really feeling tired now I'm, I'm not I've been worse before but I just hope I'm at the bottom now let's just hope we can start going up oh this has just gone on and on and on and on I'm really tired at last we seem to seem to be heading our way up now towards the restaurant I guess at last Took enough time, I tell you. This final path before we get to the refuge, the restaurant, so it seems to be sort of on the edge of a drop off, and it's just going on and on and on forever. I don't, I've got no idea where we're going. I think every time I do this, it's different. I just, it's just completely lost. It's slightly sketchy as well, this path. The restaurant's about a minute away. I hope we can go into it because I'm freaking cold now. That last section was horrific. I don't know if I'm walking in slow motion. Everything seems to overtake me at great speed. It's, it's an absolute nightmare. I've got to get something to eat, got something to warm up and speak to Fifi to organise how to pick me up. And so we arrive back at the Merlan restaurant, second time. Just as well. Where? Right, found the late station. Um, now I'm going to start the trip back to Via Lauda. People giving warm and eating things. It's been really tough, eh? Still a bit more to go as well. On this final descent, last time I did this race, I, I could run it all. Uh, it seems to have got a bit affected now. This track is not as quite as it used to, good as it used to be, or 
Oh no, I'm going to see if I can run a little bit anyway. Anyway, this is a great place to run if you can. Something I did last year, how much I'm doing again this year, is run, run it down, run, run, run down to the villages. Now, last year I was able to run all of it, but this year it seems, the track seems worse, but it's nice to run at the end of a race. I'll give it a real sprint at the end if I can. As I said before, I try to run at the end, whatever happens. <laughs> to then sprint across the finish. I'll tell you what, that track was longer than I remembered to be. So it's just, it's really long. Well, here we are then. Is it Rival Arch? Fourth time successful finish. Not bad.